So yeah, my vehicle was parked at the front gate because we were quickly reformed as the QRF for Kigali, Quick Reaction Force. Um, the stadium, which the Canadian Brits with the bigger UN headquarters, had some armoured vehicles in that, but they weren't mobilised. So I quickly became the QRF, and ironically, and this is something that I still disagree with, we because we were a threat to the local army who were emerging and new, and a lot of them were kid soldiers with RPGs and machine guns and AKs. They were intimidated by my armoured vehicle. So initially we were patrolling in pairs, which you always do. You never go out less than two uh, armoured vehicles. But they complained to the UN headquarters and they said, right, you can't do it. You can only send one vehicle. So ironically, it was me. So I would do that patrolling, whether it's taking a rubbish tip truck to the tip, whether it's patrolling Kigali. Um, we had Care Australian orphanages. We had other key installations that we'd have to look after or go and check on. And I would do that pretty well on a regular basis every day or two. Um, but it was literally me and an infantry section driving around Kigali in one armoured vehicle. So.